Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and first of all I want to say sorry that I've been kind of MIA for the last few days. Uh, I had some friends come into town, been super busy with some stuff. Not an excuse, but uh, yeah, we're back at it and we're trying to go as strong as possible for uh, for like the rest of the year. Hopefully be able to upload a video for you guys every single day because I really want to. Um, but yeah, so today we're talking about how to uh, actually find a niche that's profitable, right? Um, I get tons of questions like every single day. From people being like, yo, what niche should I be in? How do I find it? How do I know if an influence is good? All this kind of different stuff, which although I have videos on it, um, I realize that I don't really have a, a super step-by-step -step video. So that's kind of what I wanted to do in this one is just do like a step-by-step -step video of exactly how I would go about doing it, um, you know, when I try to find my niches. So uh, the first thing that I like to do is, is there's actually a couple different websites that I like to go to uh, just to get ideas and like the creative juices flowing for niches. So uh, one of them is Teespring, and actually most of these websites that I use are like custom t-shirt websites. And the reason why is because a lot of times uh, people make t-shirts that are either funny or they're based on a certain niche. Uh, you know, so I use those. But uh, one of them is Teespring, so what I usually do is go over here to apparel, um, and you can see that you can go by, uh, you know, different different niches. So they actually show their niches here that you can go into, but uh, let's just do apparel and see what they got. Um, and, and what I'm looking for is, is like very niche specific. So like something like this, the beer one isn't really super niche specific, but something like this, like the LGBT, uh, like we could totally target some pages. Um, so I'm just going to go through here and see what we got. Actually, let me just go to the, the home page and see if they have like top sellers or something. Uh, huh, that's, that's actually good. I like that one. Um, Adventure. I'm seeing a lot of adventure stuff. Um, okay, nothing too much. There's there's a few other ones, so I'll, I'll look up here. Uh, this one's called Red Bubble. Um, so I usually just go up to men's t-shirts. And the cool thing about this one is that uh, you can actually sort by best selling. Uh, you can change this to top selling, and then let's see what we got here. Is this on top line? I guess so. Okay. Um, add to cart kind of day. Huh, I wish. Um, more adventure stuff. Let's see. Um, not seeing any. I mean, these dog ones. We're not going to go with the dog niche. That's pretty obvious. Uh, heartbeat. Let's see. This, I guess this could be like LGBT, there's, there's a lot of that stuff going on. Um, I kind of like the whole adventure vibe, there's, there's a lot of people, it's kind of big with like the whole hipster photography thing, I'm kind of into it as well. Um, which is important when you're picking, uh, you know, trying to pick a niche is you want to find something that you're actually interested in, or else you get real bored real quick. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's see if we can find some stuff that has to do with adventure. And I know for a fact there's pages, a lot of pages on Instagram that have to do with it, but I'll show you um, you know, kind of how to find them. So once we have this idea, you know, we want to go with uh, maybe like a hiking vibe. Um, I'm getting the idea from, from mountains. And I'm not necessarily trying to sell this shirt at all. I'm just using it for ideas. Um, but but let's go uh, check out the hiking niche and see see what we got. So, oh, oh yeah. Also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go ahead and, and check me at, at Nash Hagen. Um, trying to get to 6,000 followers. So if we can do that, that would be dope. But um, yeah, I post kind of like adventure stuff. So it kind of fits with my vibe. But let's let's just type in like uh, hiking. See what we get. Uh, hiking culture. So usually I would do this on my phone, um, but since I'm on the computer, I'm just going to do it on the, the normal Instagram. But okay, so we got hiking culture. Usually what I'm looking for in an influencer page. Um, so as you notice, I'm I'm picking the niche. I'm picking the influencers before I've even started a store or picked any products, right? Um, because that's always my method. I want to make sure there's an audience so that I can prove the concept first. Um, so let's see, hiking culture, 157k. Usually, I want to go with over like 150k. So this is this is good, and under about 500k, especially when I'm testing, just to keep the cost down. Um, let's see, so 150k, 4,000, 3,000, 5,000, 3,000, 7,000. So this would be like a pretty decent page because usually I'm looking for uh, pages with above like a two and a half, three percent engagement. So with 150k. You know, this is around maybe a 2.75% engagement, which is good. This is like double that, so this is like a 6%, you know. So 
those are good numbers, but what we can do is click on these and actually see uh, the comments. And a lot of times that's what I like to do, actually every time. I want to look at the comments, so let's load some. And uh, if you see people like tagging friends, you know, like goals, uh, all these people tagging friends that they want to do it, that looks like an amazing hike, that's a legitimate comment. Okay? If you have stuff like this, I'm not saying that this is a fake comment necessarily, or stuff like this, um, a lot of times it could be a fake comment. Um, and if, especially if you see a lot of that, then it's probably not like the best page to go with. Um, just because they're fake. But one way to freedom hike. Okay, so in my opinion, this might be a good page to go with. So what you would do is just message them, be like, hey, um, you know, how much do you charge for a shout out? And then they'll come back at you. I personally, for a page like this, I wouldn't pay more than like 15, maybe $20 for it. Um, so if they come back at you with like $35, then you can try to negotiate them down. If they don't want to negotiate, see if you can do half rate. So like um, instead of doing a 24 hour post, do like a 12 hour post. And then if they still don't want to do that, then you might have to move on because I mean, just depending on what your budget is, but in most cases, I wouldn't want to spend more than like 15 to 20. Um, so let's do one more. See if we can find another another page. Okay, so camping and hiking. Let's see. Okay. Uh, this, is, this is a little bit low. Let's see if we can find a different one. Hiking height. Okay, so here, it looks like this is like a store. And they're not doing an outstanding job of marketing, but um, yeah. So that's that's a whole other video on how to set up your Instagram. But this is not how I would set up my Instagram. Um, oops. But let's see if we can find another page here. Hiking with dogs. And then 32k. Wow, but the engagement is super good. It's <laughs> funny photo. Okay, so this could be interesting. So we got 6,000 likes on this, posted two days ago. Um, looks like a lot of these people are tagging friends, commenting, wow, he's so cute. Um, I'm on board with that, the odds are playing good. <laughs> okay, so these look like legitimate comments. So in this case, this page, although it's only like 132K, the engagement's insane, like 11,000 uh, 11, likes. Um, you know, 6,000, 6,000. It looks like it's averaging about, you know, 6,000 ish. Occasionally you'll get 19,000, which is insane. But, um, yeah, so like this page and that other one that we're looking at would be good pages to potentially reach out to and test with. So, once we, uh, once we get rates, because you always want to get the rates to kind of prove and, and see, like, is this something that I could actually go into and actually make money at? And are there influencers that would, you know, allow it? So, once we do that, we do the product research. So, Gonna jump on over to AliExpress and let's just type in. Um, a lot of times, what you can do with these hiking pages. Let, let me just see. I'm not sure. Well, let's just see if we can do it. So, hiking with dogs. Insta. A lot of times, they'll have um, you know products that you. Uh, wow, this dogs on adventure thing is actually kind of a big niche. It's interesting. I wonder. So they, they have these bandanas here. I wonder if uh, AliExpress has like dog bandanas. Let's see. See what we got. Okay, sort by orders. You know, I always sort by orders. Look at that. Okay, so 2,500 orders. Who knew? Okay, seven 700 orders. 760. Okay, so this, <laughs> I mean, right here, we just found a product that we could potentially use for free plus shipping. Because check this out. So if we, um, so it's, let's see, if you want like, say a large, it's $1.52, and let's see how much the shipping is. Shipping's $1.39, you're under $3, you can free plus ship for like 10, and you can totally be able to make, uh, you know, some sales off of this. If you create a store around like, uh, like instead of dogs, like just generic dogs, if you could create it around hiking, but they also, you know, deal with dogs, and then you can actually, you know, as you can see, these dogs are, you know, they have these bandanas, you could totally start marketing on these pages. This one's not super great. It's okay, um, but there's you know there's a bunch of pages. It looked like. Let's see if we go back. Um, look at like camping with dogs, backcountry paws, dogs on adventures. Uh, I mean, this page has great engagement. Seven thousand likes on that photo. Five thousand, five thousand, four thousand. You know, this is you know 
I mean, it's small, but it still has a ton of engagement. And let's see if they're real. Cute. Uh, let's ignore that. You want to hug him, tag him friends, check out my page. That's fake. Um, yeah, but here's another page that we could potentially use, potentially reach out to, to actually try to sell, um, you know, these dog bandanas. Now, you're probably going to want to build up, you know, a few more. Maybe you could even make your own custom t-shirts if you want to do that. You could reach out to people on, like, Fiverr to do t-shirt designs for you and then use the app Printful to actually make them. Um, you know, you could make your own custom t-shirts or you could go in and, you know, uh, just, uh, you know, try to sell these and then upsell people on, you know, additional products. So, so hopefully this video kind of, uh, you know, shows you my process in finding a niche from basically no idea what I'm doing all the way up to actually having a product and a few pages that I can potentially market on. And, uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it went through the whole process. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or message me on Instagram at Nash Hagen, um, and I'll help you out. But uh, like I said, I've been getting a lot of comments of people wanting to have a video like this. So hopefully it helped you out. If it did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and hit the like because it helps me out a lot. Um, if you actually liked the content, if you didn't like it, you know, throw a thumbs down. But if you did like it, throw a like. Also, lastly, uh, hit the notification bell so you can be notified as soon as I drop the latest video, which has been every day except for the last few days, but will continue to be every day after this. Um, yeah, and again, hopefully you liked it, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning. Oh.